Greetings. Welcome to a virtual Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Freedom Celebration, inspired by a movement. My name is Katherine Bentley. I'm an associate professor of theater and the director of the Black Studies program at SIUE. The St. Louis Art Museum invited me to serve as the program moderator and to collaborate with local performing artists. We were asked to create a program that features contemporary creative responses to photographs in the museum's collection by visual artist Monita Sleet Jr. documenting the civil rights movement. Admittedly, it seems somewhat inappropriate to celebrate anything right now. Our world, our country is in the midst of two pandemics. One, a tragic health crisis, and the other, an ugly resurgence of continued racial hatred. Both have caused suffering, pain, and loss on so many levels. It is important that while celebrating the legacy of Dr. King, we acknowledge this deep sadness. In that acknowledgement, we can allow ourselves to lift up the spirits of our ancestors, beckoning them for strength in dark times. In honor and gratitude to the resilience of our ancestors, I invite you to celebrate the brilliance of black excellence. I believe that you are in for a transformative experience. I am privileged to present to you three of St. Louis's phenomenal performing artists who have created thoughtful and engaging works inspired by the photography of an iconic figure. Some of you may be familiar with the work of photographer Monita Sleet Jr. and others, not yet. His name is not one at the top of the list of historical black heroes. However, his work during the civil rights movement was significant. Some of the photos that we most attribute to the movement were taken by Mr. Sleet, and the St. Louis Art Museum has a collection of over 100 of his photos. Monita Sleet Jr. was born in 1926 and raised in Orangeboro, Kentucky. His journey toward being the first African-American man to win a Pulitzer Prize and the first African-American period to win the Pulitzer Prize for feature photography began when his parents gave him a small box camera when he was just a little boy. I can just imagine him walking around the house with that little box trying to capture the right moment, the right lighting, the right angle. Now this was long before digital cameras and iPhones where we can have thousands of pictures stored on our devices. Back then you had to actually develop the film yourself or pay someone to develop it for you. So you had to be quite discerning about how many pictures you took. Sleet's love of photography followed him through his time at Western High School, where he was part of the photography club, then into Kentucky State College, and all the way to New York University, where he received his master's degree in journalism in 1950. His career as a photojournalist started as a sports photographer for New York's Amsterdam News. Then, in 1955, Sleet began his remarkable 41-year tenure with Johnson Publishing Company when he became a staff photographer for Ebony Magazine. Here, Sleet became entrenched in community activism by being on the front lines of historic events of the Civil Rights Movement. His photos documented countless events, including the Montgomery bus boycott of 1955, the 1963 March on Washington, and the 1965 Selma March for Voting Rights. Sleet said of his work, I wasn't there as an objective reporter. I had something to say and was trying to show one side of it. We didn't have any problems finding the other side. The famous photo that won Sleet the Pulitzer Prize is the one of Coretta Scott King at the funeral of her husband with her daughter Bernice on her lap. Initially, Sleet was not on the list of journalists allowed into the funeral. There were no black journalists on the list. It is reported that Coretta Scott King insisted that the black media be present at the funeral. And she said if Monita Sleet was not present, she would allow no photographers at all. This was a testament to Sleet's relationship with the King family and his commitment to not only documenting the movement, but truly being an active participant in the movement. I had the honor of selecting three performing artists to bring Monita Sleet Jr.'s photographs to life. Honestly, St. Louis is so very rich with talent. We have some of the best musicians, actors, and dancers in the country. The performing artists featured in this virtual program, Heather Beale, Anita Jackson, and Joel P.E. King, are masters of their craft. Like Monita Sleep Jr., this trio of arts activists utilize their artistry to bring light 
to the social and political issues of our time. Through dance, song, and theatrical dramatization, each of the three artists were given the task of choosing one of Sleet's photos in the collection of the St. Louis Art Museum that inspired their creation of an original performance piece. Their creations transport us into history while also being fueled with the passion and urgency of our current civil unrest. I invite you to allow yourself to be transported into these works. Allow yourself to go on a journey with these artists. Allow this artistic experience to motivate you to be more than objective bystanders, but to become, as our ancestor Dr. King would have us to become, people who, when confronted with the problem of race in our country, are ready to have an honest confrontation with it and a willing search for the truth and a willingness to admit the truth when we discover it. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the St. Louis Art Museum's Inspired by a Movement, featuring the works conceived and performed by Heather Beal, Anita Jackson, and Joel P.E. King, and reflections on behalf of the Epsilon Lambda chapter of Dr. King's fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha by Marcus A. Creighton. <laughs>